Hi, my name is Dr. Yuri Burstyn. I'm a veterinarian in Vancouver, BC, and I'd like to welcome you to my series of practical skills for pet owners. Claudia and I are here to talk to you today about a much requested topic of how to administer liquid oral medication to cats. Now, I already have a video on how to give pills to cats, but veterinarians often prescribe liquid medications to felines, and we're going to talk a little bit about why, and then we're going to show you the how. But before we do that, please hit like and subscribe below, and don't forget to squish that bell notification button so that you get updates whenever I upload a video or do a live stream. And off we go. So Claudia here is an awesome little cat. Uh, she can be quite wriggly though. And uh, when it comes to medicating cats, you know, it's when cats get sick, like all of us, it's really important to take your medication on time. And unfortunately, not all cats understand this, and not all cats are terribly cooperative about taking their meds. And sometimes giving a liquid form of a medication is much easier than giving a pill. Now, this is not always the case. Some cats are easier to medicate by pill. Some cats are easier to medicate by liquid. It is just good to have options. Now, there's also, just for general uh, information, there's couple other ways to get medication to a cat as well. Pills and liquid are the obvious oral routes. There are also transdermal formulations, which are typically pastes that you can actually rub usually on any part of the skin that doesn't have hair, usually on the inside of the ear in cats. So usually on the inside of the ear in cats, right in there, that will get absorbed. They have their own pros and cons. Uh, there are palatable pastes that some compounding pharmacies make, but giving those is essentially the same as giving a liquid medication, so you'll be able to see how to do that today. And of course, there's also injections and um, other more technical ways of getting meds into a patient, but you know the oral route is always the simplest, easiest, and cheapest, and most of the time, with the majority of cats, with a bit of practice, you can do it. Giving medication to a cat, whether it's liquid or pill or transdermal, is a skill and like any other skill it's hard the first couple of times you do it and then it becomes easy so you just stick with it practice and uh, i promise you that 99 percent of the time unless you have that one in a hundred cat that is just impossible to handle you will find medicating them to be easy and simple with just a little bit of know-how and a lot of practice so one way in which veterinarians will try to make your life easier i'm just going to let lancelot out Mr. Lance wandered by. <laughs> and like a proper cat, he's standing in the doorway, half in, half out of the room. Nope, nope. Now he wants to be in the room. Don't stare, Claudia. Get out of here. <laughs> Bye, Lance. <laughs> so <laughs> here's the tools that you'll need to give your cat liquid medication. Now, most vets will try to make it easier on you and try to give you the smallest volume of drug they can. Uh, this will be limited by two factors. One is just the concentration of the medication and how little of a volume you can get away with. The other one is the taste, because we often compound medications uh, using some flavor or uh, to, mask, to mask the taste of the drug. You know, one advantage of giving medications in capsule or pill form is that often they're coated and they don't have any taste, whereas medication and drugs are often quite bitter or unpleasant tasting otherwise and when you do use liquid medications you quite regularly have to compound them into some you know chicken paste or even something simple as glycerin um, syrup just to kind of mask the taste and texture and make it a little bit more palatable meaning uh, to make it taste good enough that the cat will take it without objecting to it and uh, usually you will get medication and you will get in a bottle and you'll get either a three mil syringe or a one mil syringe to administer it. And it's important to know the difference. So one cc syringe contains a maximum volume of one mil of medication. And it's broken up into 0.1 mil gradations. So this is half a mil, this is one mil, this is 0.1 mil. A 3cc syringe will have a total volume of 3 mils, so this is 3 mils. 
you'll probably never give this much to a cat. Because the problem with larger volumes too is you get a lot of spillage and your drug administration isn't as reliable. This is one mil. This is half a mil. This is a very small volume that you should probably use a 1cc syringe for. So you'll, you, have to know, you have to make sure you have the right kind of syringe. Uh, hopefully your veterinary team will show you exactly how to use it. But these are two kind of syringes you're likely to come across when orally medicating cats. So we try to give you the smallest volume possible to get the job done. And the next step is to draw up the correct amount. Now I have a little kidney dish of water here. And I'm just going to draw up. Let's say around 0.2 cc's, pretty, pretty easy volume to administer. Now, like I said, one of the major issues with giving a larger volume of liquid medication to a cat is you do get some spillage. The other thing to be aware of is because cats can often taste liquid meds more than they will a capsule or a pill, you may get this very alarming foaming phenomenon. Now, when cats taste something that they find unpleasant or noxious, they can foam at the mouth like a rabid dog. Just a dramatic, dramatic. They just salivate like crazy. It's the mouth foams. It looks terrifying to the owners. I sometimes get owners calling me, like wondering what the heck happened. Um, it's not harmful. It's not a bad thing. It just means the cat tasted something they didn't like and they really object to it. And so they just foam up. To avoid this happening, you just need to get the medication to the back third of the tongue. This in there, inevitably, this happens when the bad tasting medication hits the front of the tongue and the cat reacts poorly to it, and then they may sort of avoid medication in future. So the trick here, just like when giving the pill, and you can look at the how to give a cat a pill video that I published some time ago for, for cross-reference, is always to get the medication, whether it's a pill or a liquid, to the very, very back of the tongue. So now that we drop our medication, we're going to position ourselves for success. And I feel this is very, very important principle in veterinary medicine. You always want to position yourself for success. In this case, positioning yourself for success means having your little cat facing away from you. If you're right-handed like me, you're going to use your left hand for, for cat and your right hand for syringe. Usually I just hold it like this with my index finger. Bigger syringe is just as easy. Just hold it like that. Gonna Put this in the cat's mouth and you're going to give it the meds. Now, the technique here is very, very similar to how to give a cat a pill. You want them pointing, looking up at the ceiling. You want to deliver the medication to the very, very back of the throat. And then you want to close their mouth and point their chin at the ceiling for a count of three. So allow me to demonstrate. Cat positioned. Now. I always sweep the whiskers back and kind of hold them by their top lips. Medication in, back of the tongue, squirt. One, two, three. Just like that. All done. Cat medicated. Like I said, it's a skill. First couple times you do it, it's so difficult, and then it becomes easy. So let me demonstrate one more time. Whiskers swept back. Cat up. You work the pill in this, you work the syringe into the side of the mouth just till they start open, squirt to the back of the mouth. One, two, three, stroke their little chin, is a little swallow, and medication has been administered. So that is how you give a cat liquid meds. Now, honorable mention goes to one particular medication that cats often get called buprenorphine. This is a very common painkiller used in cats. It also comes in liquid formulation, but the cool thing about buprenorphine is that it gets absorbed through the mucous membranes of the tongue and the gums, so a cat doesn't even need to swallow it. And now when I give buprenorphine, I use exactly the same technique. But if you have a difficult to handle or aggressive cat, excuse me, Claudia, you're so difficult to handle, you can actually just kind of squirt it in the side of their mouth. If you guess you get away with much sloppier administration than you do with most liquid meds and in really angry cats you can even wait for them to open their mouth to hiss at you and you squirt it into their mouth that's something that you often do in hospitals or in shelters when you're working with really really anxious aggro cats not something that most owners have to deal with but just so you know uh, medications absorbed through the mucous membranes you can just be a lot sloppier about administering them and they'll still do the job um, so in terms of pitfalls there really aren't that many 
like I said before, uh, if you hit the front of the tongue and the medication doesn't taste good, you will get this dramatic foaming effect. If, you might also just find the cat will just drool out or spit out a portion of the medication dose. This can be avoided by just giving the liquid meds to the very back of the throat and just pointing that chin at the ceiling for a count of three. Well, thank you very much, Claudia. You've been a really, really generous little demonstration cat. It's just done wonderfully. I'm going to give you a little pat on the bottom. Good cat. Good cat. Yes. Squish you. Oh, yeah. Of course, if they're wriggling and trying to get away from you, you can squish them. Um, but positioning yourself for success, I guess. I, I think I, I'm going to close this video with just emphasizing that again. Positioning your cat correctly is absolutely key to having a good experience at this. Don't try to do it with them in any sort of angle, awkward angle where you're reaching around them or have to really, really contort yourself. You know, they'll just back up and you'll, you'll lose the cat. And you'll, you'll lose the battle. Just try to have them close, as close to facing away from you as possible. And this really lets you be tucked into your left arm if you're right-handed like me. And this really lets you just manipulate them. And looks, my right hand is ready for squishing until I grab the med. Bam, cat medicated. Well, I hope you found that to be educational and helpful. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, I would really appreciate your support, which you can express by joining me on Patreon, uh, where I have a wonderful community of patrons already, or by uh, getting some Squish That Cat merchandise, like this t-shirt. I also have mugs and a bunch of other stuff. So please support me. I look forward to making more videos like this. And until next time, have fun with your pets. And I'll see you again.